grave dangers face the men of the Secret Service. Crime is rampant. Can Jack Holt escape the hand of doom? He's posing as ex-convict Nick Farrell to catch a gang of counterfeiters. He and his partner, Kay Drew, try to contact department headquarters by radio, but they're discovered. Give me your gun and take cover. If she reaches the road, we're sunk. Right, that's where she'd head for. Get after her. They're after her. I've got to head her off. Get back in that cave. You're safe. They think you're dead. She goes. I'll stop her. Now that we've got her, what do we do with her? Why ask me? Don't look at me. Somebody's got to make a decision. Oh, cut it out. Get it back to the cabin and use the radio. Good idea. I Drop those guns, boys, if you want to live. Leave the girl alone. Get over there in a the huddle. Well, you thought I was done for, eh? Well, I'm going to fool you. I'm very much alive. I'm going to take you with me. Look out, Nick! Well, Jimmy just about made it. Why, you scared me to death. Cut them all, boys. Take no chances. Thanks, Jim. Is that the lot of them? No, they don't mean a thing. The important thing is to keep them incommunicado, get them out of the state, so I can contact Valden. We haven't any case until we get the head man. We'll get you for this, Holt. Mark my word. Take him to the car. You devil crosser. Jim, we'll go and get Severn. And while we're there, we'll wreck that counterfeiting plant and also their convenient radio. And John Malloy of the Secret Service states that the raid resulted when Charles Severn, held prisoner by the criminals, escaped them long enough to send a shortwave radio message that was picked up by a government station. That's a fine thing. It couldn't be helped. Nick Farrell, notorious racketeer, was the only one of the gang to make his escape. Farrell is believed to have the counterfeit plates in his possession. Uh, shut it off. Which one of your bungling gangsters let Severn escape? I don't know. I was on my way back there when it happened. All I know, the plant is destroyed. No sign of anyone. If there's any slip up, I'm through. Don't worry. All the prisoners are on their way out of the state. With Crimp Evans dead and all the others that know you locked up, well, you can safely contact Valden. And then what? Through Valden, I'll reach the head man. That's the one we're after. It's no use fooling with a small fry. As soon as we get him, our case is closed. Say, wait a minute. Send for the boys. I've got an idea. Send in Layden and Frank. Why, that dirty double-crossing hijacker? So that's his game, huh? What's biting you now? Nick Farrell. He's the guy I was telling you about. Help me break jail, then try to drown me in the river. Now he's on the loose with the boss's money plate. Read it! Well, I thought you said he was a fed, him and that girl that was with him. 
Yeah, I thought so, but I'm not so sure now. He got the place, that's a cinch. If he were a government man, he would have turned them in. He's going to use them himself, that's what. And he's going to count me in. I'm going to tell him so. How are you going to tell him? The police can't find him and the feds can't find him. Oh, find him, all right. Want me to go with you? No, stay where you are. That's the place, all right. Shorty's Cafe. Now, keep your eyes open. If you see me come out with anybody, follow us. Let me go with you, Jack. Be reasonable, Kay. I'll tackle this alone. You've got plenty to do. Just have patience. Five minutes. Don't let him get away. I'll do my best. Better take somebody with you. All right, I'll pick up a couple of the boys. And remember, I want to get a look at him without him seeing me. I understand. There you are, Nick. This is on me. Just look at this. I'll give you new courage. Thanks, Shorty. I sure need it. I'll get out since it's dark. Oh, that's all right. Take your time. Sit around. Drink the whole bottle. That's all right. Thanks. I don't care what Jack said. I think we ought to go in. He's been in there too long. Patience, Kay. Look. Nice work, Shorty. Where is he? Sitting peacefully in my back room, like I said. Remember, boys, I'll do all the talking. Right. Well, then, how'd you know I was here? Oh, I have ways of learning things. Glad they didn't get you, Nick. Yeah, so am I. Boys, this is Nick Farrell, one of the best. And one of the toughest. So don't start anything. All right, now, just take it easy, Nick. Tell me what happened out there at the hideout. Well, several of them slipped one over on us. Tony and Spike were supposed to be watching. Without any warning, the government men were on us. While they were battling, I smashed the plant. Believe me, they haven't got anything with those boys. As soon as we get our hand on some corn, we can spring them. Uh, a little shot, huh? No, 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 wait a minute, Dick. You've had enough. That's all I know about it. When I saw we couldn't hold that fizz off, I scrammed out of there. And took the plates with you. That was mighty smart. I'll say it was. Nick's a mighty smart fella. Crip! Hello, Valen. We thought you were dead. Why, Crimmy, old boy, I thought you were drowned. I never expected I to don't see you. you. I swallowed enough water to sink a battleship. An old prospector fished me out of the river and doctored me up. Just got in town today. You sure was lucky, weren't you, Cuffy? Yeah, you and me both. Say, I was reading about you in the papers. What about them plates? Oh, oh, you mustn't, you mustn't believe what you're reading in the paper, Kirby. Well, if I did have the plates, they'd certainly be worth a lot of money. How about it, Valen? Oh, so that's it. Well, name your price, Farrell. Oh, no, 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 no. I only talk with the boss, and Valden, that ain't you. I see. You got us behind the eight ball, Nick. Meet me tonight at Selby's Roadhouse at 10 o'clock, and I'll take you to the big boss. Well, you better put it down, because I'll, I'll never remember that. Well, I'm on my way, man. Nick, you and I got to talk about that canoe trip. Sure, Kirby, I'd love to see it. I'm just serves the heat, so. I have it. Have heavy on it? Oh, yeah. Selby's Roadhouse, since you. I don't admit to having anything. 
Well, I might be able to... Oh, uh, can't it, I understand. Just be there at 10 o'clock sharp. I'll be there at 10 sharp. When they get the signal, come in. Nick, you and me are going to have a showdown. Why, Cribby, what do you want? Now, that's talking. I can explain Never what... mind what you did to me. I want those plates. Oh, you do, eh? So you fell for it, too. You thought I was drunk. You thought you'd come in and get me. Well, you'll never get those plates. That shot came from in there. Do something, Jim. I'll call the police. I'll use the radio. The government mustn't be connected with this. Calling police broadcast. The police are on their way. I'll get over there just in case. You saw the police. Right. should make it. I told you I'd be here tonight. You seem to be a little nervous. You wouldn't try to pull anything, would you, pal? Uh, with you holding the plate, that'd be silly. Forget I said it. Hello, Tick. Got a quiet room where we can talk? Yes, sir, Mr. Belden. Take number seven. All right, see that we're not disturbed. you've got here. Funny I haven't run onto it before. And nobody gets in here unless we know him. Can order you a drink? Not now, but later. I never drink when I'm working. Come on, quit the stall. Where is the big shot? Well, he'll be here. He's a busy man. Yeah? Well, so am I a busy man. And don't forget this. He needs me more than I need him. All right, all right, Nick. Have a little patience. Hey, we're not too late, are we? No, they just arrived a few minutes ago. Think we ought to crash in? Oh, no, to jump the gun would ruin things. Jack will signal as soon as he contacts the head man. Come on, Valden. I've waited long enough. Either you produce the boss or I'm getting out of here. Come in. The boss has been looking you over and listening to you ever since we came in. Oh, I see. Monkey business. So I've been on exhibition all the time, eh? Well, where do we go from here? Follow me. Well, we'll take my car and come back for yours. Wait a minute. I don't like this running around blind. It ain't cricket for guys in our business. Well, you're not backing out now, are you? You said yourself the boss needs you. Of course, if you're afraid. Afraid? You're with me, ain't you? 
Any funny business would be your funeral. Did you get that? He wants you to follow him. Yeah. I sprint you to or I'll drill you. You're taking me with you. Step out of that battle and don't make any mistakes. Come on, Joe! Mall is sure as fate. We better get after her. We're not gaining a bit. Can't you get something more out of this crate? You double crosser. I'll take care of you for this, that's certain. This isn't my work, honest. Crib's on his own. The boss will kill you for this, Crib. Lord, you trap and step on it. And don't turn around or I'll drill you. Make him step on it, Crimp. That car's gaining on it. Trap on it, Alan. I can't go any faster on this road. We'll be killed. It's better than the electric chair. Step on it. Plates are worth a fortune. Will Crimp and his men be able to get them? And what is this that Jim Layton has discovered? Will his captive lead him to the chief of the gang? See what happens in Exits to Terror, next thrill-laden chapter of Holt of the Secret Service.